and Mr. C here, back in the next part of our video on how to go ahead and use laser technology within the woodworking industry, or work, working with wood, I'd like to show you now how to use this laser. Like last time we talked, I had pulled up the image of the Statue of Liberty, and then I saved that document or that file on a Corel Draw file. So now that we're here in the lab where the, the Corel Draw and the laser is, I'd like to show you right from how I open up the computer. I'm gonna go ahead over here, click on Corel Draw. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that file. This is relatively easy. Now, here's my different sizes. These are correct. They popped up here correctly. And I have my image. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my image, I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to go to Object, Align, and I'm going to align this to the center of the page. This way, it ends up turning out exactly centered. Now, here's the only thing we have to do, is we come up to the file, go to print. Now what we have to do is, under the printer, we have to select the epilogue engraver. Then we come over to preferences. Now here's where things can get a little bit tricky, but we're going to take all the mystery out of this, okay? Center engraving. This is all correct. Correct. I want autofocus on. And then I have to put my thickness in. I used um, an electronic caliper to find out the exact thickness. I want a raster. Now I need to put in my horizontal and my vertical sizes of the product. Now I come over here to the top where the speed settings there. Now guessing this is not a real good idea, but the manufacturer of this type of uh, laser provided us with the information needed to go ahead and be successful. So I have a 120 watt laser, so I need to set it at 90, 30. The S stands for speed, and the P stands for power, so I'm gonna go to 90. A third, and then 30 into the power. I don't have to, I'm not engraving this top direction down. Um, I want to use a more refined um, setting here for image. Now under the advanced, what I want to do is I want to do 3D. Okay. And then save this I'm going to cancel this there's one thing I realized that we need to do we want the image to be reversed so what I need is click on the image reverse the image over here As you can see, the Statue of Liberty flipped. The reason why I want to do this is because if I laser it from the back side and create it three dimensionally on the back side, the front side will be smooth. So the end product will be much nicer looking. So let's go back up to here and go back through our parameters and printing again. And I'm not going to explain these all over again just because we just did that. But I just want to make sure everything's all right. So I'm going to start over here again. Yes, yes. 
autofocus here, the thickness, the horizontal size, the vertical size, the speed, the power, and then I want Stucky. And then the advanced settings, I want this to be 3D. Okay. And that's all. So I press OK. I press print. Now let's go over to the machine. Job two, so this tells me it's going to take 11 minutes and 21 seconds to run. I press go. And then we go ahead and see this laser out. Now this is going to take 11 minutes, 21 seconds to run the very first portion or the very first run. We typically want to run this twice or three times to get the depth that we're looking for because what we're going to do is we're going to light this with an LED along the edges of the top to give it a little bit more dramatic appearance. Anything being done is worth doing right. So right now, just to see the flame in the hand, of the Statue of Liberty. She's coming alive. So. Hi, Mr. C. We're in the wood shop and the fab lab, working with different machines and different materials because woodworking is not just about working with wood, it's also integrating other materials to give a dramatic effect on different projects. This one we happen to be integrating in acrylic and using laser technology to help give a really, really nice decorative look to something that's really, really meaningful to a family. So until next time, I'm Mr. C in the shop and we'll see what this turns out. We're gonna be surprised how dramatic it is when we're all done. So we'll see ya, bye.